Today on .NET News, .NET MAUI general availability release has arrived, Visual Studio 2022 for Mac released, and Microsoft reveals new products and features at Build 2022. And of course, we have my pick of today's links, but before that, to support the channel, go ahead and click that like button, and of course, hit subscribe for more .NET content. Let's get into the news. .NET MAUI general availability release has arrived. After a long stretch in preview, .NET MAUI has finally been formed introduced to the .NET family in a general availability release. Targeting Windows, iOS, macOS and Android, Microsoft has stated on the .NET blog that, quote, this release marks a new milestone in our multi-year journey to unify the .NET platform, end quote. This is obviously amazing news for developers looking to use .NET seamlessly to deploy their apps across platforms. I've had a play around with it on a basic level, and I have to say so far, I'm pretty impressed. The standout for me was the new ability to now see templates for MAUI projects in Visual Studio, and also to choose whether I want to create a standard MAUI project or use MAUI with Blazor. Microsoft has confirmed that they'll be supporting .NET MAUI under the current release schedule of 18 months. The priority at the moment will be to improve MAUI based on feedback from the community, which I'm sure most developers will agree is great news. MAUI is really simple to install. You just need to install or update Visual Studio 2022 Preview to version 17.3 Preview 1.1. Then in the new installer, you can choose the workload .NET Multi-Platform App UI Development, which is a mouthful. And after that, you're ready to play with MAUI. Now, one problem I did find when I was installing was not being able to see the .NET MAUI project templates in Visual Studio. This is a known issue for developers who have the preview version of .NET 7 SDK installed at the same time. So be sure to remove that first if you have it installed. If you don't want to install it, Microsoft has advised people to generate the project via the CLI instead. Several examples of UI controls and use cases were outlined on the article on .NET blog, and I highly recommend you to give it a read, especially if you're currently exploring your options cross-platform development. I'll be making a more in-depth video on MAUI in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Visual Studio 2022 for Mac released. Visual Studio 2022 is now formally released for Mac users, with Microsoft claiming that the version is the fastest for Visual Studio for Mac so far, thanks to an all-new native macOS UI and the fact that it's running fully on .NET. The application has also been optimized for ARM64 processors, which means that it should be pretty smooth on the latest Mac models. Microsoft have also announced that they're shipping a preview of the next update to Visual Studio for Mac, which can be installed side by side. This will give Mac users the ability to try out .NET 7 ahead of time. Of course, this version of Visual Studio for Mac has tooling support for the newly released .NET MAUI, so Mac users are not left out there. New products and features have been announced at Build 2022. Of course, it would be a crime if I didn't talk about the new announcements from Microsoft Build 2022. There were three key themes coming out of Build this year. The first one being AI and AI-assisted development. So Microsoft is placing more emphasis on creating AI tools that make development easier and quicker. Whether it will make it cheaper remains to be seen, but it's exciting exciting nonetheless. Secondly, there was the concept of hybrid AI app patterns that bridge edge devices with cloud AI for a new way of building applications. And thirdly, there was an emphasis on keeping developers productive with automation that will allow developers to stay in that flow mode that we're all so desperately seeking. Now, there were a lot of announcements most of which each deserve their own video. So here's a high level summary of the ones I think were the most exciting. Microsoft Power Pages, which is a quote, low code development and hosting platform that allows anyone from low code maker to professional developer to design, configure and publish websites for both desktop and mobile through a fluid visual experience, end quote. I don't know why, maybe because in tech years I'm old, but the first thing that came into my mind was Microsoft front page. <laughs> you old devs feel me. Express design in power apps. This allows you to upload a PDF, PowerPoint, or a hand-drawn sketch even that will be converted into a working app in seconds. Frankly, this blew my mind a little bit. I don't think it's replacing front-end devs, obviously, but for things like dog fooding or prototyping, it's going to make things a lot easier for sure. Project Volterra. This is a new device uh, slash development kit powered by the Snapdragon Compute platform 
and it will allow developers to explore new AI scenarios with the Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK, with which they demonstrated blisteringly fast face recognition and image processing thanks to the built-in Neural Processing Unit. So Microsoft is making it clear that they see future hardware supporting the use of a dedicated chip for AI operations in exactly the same way we have a dedicated unit for graphics. This was a real confirmation for me that Microsoft is all in with AI assisted development. I don't know if I'll ever get my hands on one of these things, uh, but if I do, I would be making a lot of content on it. Not holding out much hope for that, but you know, a dev can dream. And of course, to wrap us up, it's time for today's pick of the links. Today's pick is Microsoft Store grows with the developer community. Microsoft has announced new ways that developers can make their apps more visible and get them out to users more easily, thanks to the introduced support for .NET Framework, C++, Electron, Flutter, and Rust, to name just a few. They've also introduced a new feature in the store in the form of Microsoft Store Ads, a new advertising product designed to help developers grow their business by getting their apps or games in front of the right customers at the right time. In my opinion, anything that enables independent developers to get more exposure is a great thing. And that's why this is today's pick of the links. And of course, you can find it in the description below if you want to find out more. And that is all the news we have for today, but we'll be back for some more developments in and around .NET soon. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more news within and around .NET. See you soon.